Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. In this video we are going to take a look at the Int Fusion Fighters Attack Vegito. So this Vegito recently got his EZA, uh, kind of as a batch with a whole bunch of other units from the Majin Buu Saga and he's become pretty decent, very very good. Uh, leader skill is an all types key plus 3 lead, HP, attack and defense at 80%. He causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises his allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. So he's the unit you kind of want to sit in the first slot if possible uh, and then in the second slot you know, if you can't just because you want that benefit for all his allies. He has attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack of 20% per key sphere obtained. He has a chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% with each attack performed up to 30%. He gives all allies key plus 3 and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So an important thing to note here is that he does have built in additionals. Uh, he also obviously gains crit with each attack. So ideally you kind of want to have majority additional because that gives him a chance for triple supering. Uh, it also gives him a chance to fire off more attacks, more, you know, more quickly building up his crit abilities and then you can kind of go with obviously you know the remainder crit if you want you could also go i guess for evasion right, if you want to do it doesn't really seem like a downside here but i would i would probably go majority additional crit with my remainder and then maybe give him some evasion he already has some because he's int so he's already kind of doing the full suite of abilities Saiyan warrior race brainiacs prepared for battle power bestowed by god fuse fighter and fierce battle are his major links and Majin Buu saga patara final trump card and battle of wits are his categories so yeah pretty interesting looking unit honestly it looks pretty good uh looks really really interesting um like in terms of performance and how he does, uh, he links pretty decently with a lot of Vegito units. The only thing he's missing realistically is Super Saiyan. Uh, that's like his only major link that he's missing between him and other Vegito units. So yeah, he just looks looks relatively solid. Um, brings a decent amount of support to the table. Key plus three for all his allies, which is nice, uh, especially if you're pairing him up with LR units and things like that. Uh, the ability to you know, Gray's allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn is really great. Uh, kind of makes a lot of units look a lot better. Uh, and yeah, like I said, his kit's pretty nice. Uh, the built-in additionals and high chance of having another super attack is great. Uh, the ability for him to build up his crit chance is great. So yeah, he just looks really solid. If there's one complaint, uh, it's probably just that his defense caps are quite low uh, comparatively to the Tech Vegito. Uh, the Tech Vegito gains defense per orb um, or keys here, much like this one gains attack, but this one can hit pretty hard. Um, this is at 55%, purposefully have left him at 55%, so we should see some pretty good performances from him. Four key links activated here, uh, prepared for battle, fierce battle, um, fused fighter and power bestowed by god. Honestly speaking, those are his most common links, uh, barring Saiyan Warrior Race. His link set's probably where he is maybe the weakest. Um, fierce Battle's a great link. Uh, prepared for Battle's a great link. Power Bestowed by God and Fuse Fighters are fine for the teams that he's on, like Batara. But Brainiacs is a bit difficult to get, although it's a very powerful link. Uh, and Saiyan Warrior Race is good, uh, but it's just not spectacular. And he's only got six, so he is missing a seventh link, which always hinders a unit you know it's it's literally just a loss really but it's not a major thing but it is just noticeable but a pretty good start by him uh, some decent attack stats you know close to 2 million which is pretty good uh, and remember he's buffing the rest of the rotation which is quite an important thing so yeah pretty pretty decent showing from him uh, pretty reliable pretty solid and yeah just um, nice nice kit I like what he brings to the table I think the I think the biggest benefit of units like Infigido is the enabling he does for other units. Uh, he can link pretty decently with a whole bunch of other Patara, Saiyan based units. Uh, he can link pretty decently with other Vegitos and he's going to really enable them to do some good damage. 
uh, for example, like Strength Vegito, uh, he's going to be able to sit in that first slot, uh, really beef up Strength Vegito before he starts to fire off his own super attacks, raise his own defense, fire off his own counters and his own crits, etc. And it, it kind of follows suit. Like, look here at Int Vegito, um, obviously just below 100k defense, which is okay at 55%. Remember, he will gain quite a big increase from his, uh, you know, his stats and everything. So. He can definitely raise that up, uh, but yeah, uh, a big thing here is he's going to really enable the crit, and he's just going to enable the physical Vegito a lot. Uh, he's going to give that physical Vegito uh, a big boost in his performance. Yeah, you're going to see physical Vegito really start out a lot stronger than he usually does from the link set. From the boosting as well it's going to boost his defense as well and so those counter units all of a sudden aren't so weak defensively they can really soak up some damage and taking a super attack's not terrible here we got you know double super attacks you can see that that's really boosted this vegeta he's at 2.1 million now which is great he's starting off way stronger uh, and then he's going to come out a lot stronger overall you know his counters his crits everything like that's going to be a lot better so i think it's the enabling that the Int and the Tech Vegito do for the rest of the Vegitos that they link with. It's that ability for them to really set up the other Vegitos to do some big damage with you know, not saying that they don't do good damage themselves either. They still do great statistically, but it's now that they're really enabling some of the other Vegitos to really come up in line. Like all of a sudden the other Vegitos are really, really starting to you know push the boundaries a little bit with how they can do uh, like they're starting to really improve so just to talk about his links um, one last time obviously from link leveling you don't gain much uh, saying warrior race becomes a 10 percent attack link brainiacs which is his most uncommon link does improve quite a bit but it's quite uncommon prepared for battle gives you five percent attack and defense power bestowed by god five percent attack fused fighters 5% attack and defense and fierce battle 5% attack he doesn't gain nothing from link leveling but he doesn't you know have a big bad bosses or something like that uh, that really you know changes his makeup or changes how he performs he's not got like a margin boost style link set where the more you level it the much great greater the units perform so yeah link wise uh, prepared for battle is going to be your focal point uh, along with fierce battle that's a good starting point saying warrior race will be a good mix there here you can see we're looking at units that share Brainiacs with them. Uh, he does link pretty decently with Trunks of my units, three links. Uh, and they are on Final Trump Card uh, and Battle of Wits. So there is some kind of synergy there that you can utilize uh, on those teams. Just obviously he's the Majin Buu Saga Vegito. So he's just unfortunately not necessarily on like, uh, you know, he's not on Future Saga or Time Travelers or anything like that. But he's still you know shares a couple categories with them which is great then in terms of the rest obviously mainly vegeto units um blue vegeto super saiyan vegetos ss4 vegeto um all of them share great links with them and yeah he shares great links with them and he's an enabler for pretty much all of them uh there's no reason not to run him with pretty much any of them uh, as a great unit does a lot of great work and yeah can just really set them up with the boosting from his super attacks, the key, everything like that. The link set, it's all great. I mean, four links plus the boost from his super attack is gonna be great for all of these units and just allow them to really set themselves up and be really, really good. They're gonna improve and, and look a lot, lot better because of what you're doing with uh, this Vegito. So yeah, I would highly, I would highly suggest that you guys um, do that with him. As you can see, he links great decently with the base form of Strength Vegito, and then obviously gains an extra link when you do transform into Vegito. So overall, pretty solid, um, nice, nice unit. I think he's got good partners. A bit limited on categories, but I think he does do well on the ones he's on, and he really enables other Vegito units. So I think he's really good, and I think him and the Tech counterpart are both really good, and I like what they bring to the table. I think overall they're incredibly solid and yeah but that's it for me guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video or leave a comment and I'll try to reply back and I'll see you guys in the next video bye